Welcome to another tutorial by Lumen Looney. Today's tutorial is going to be on my Diamonds in the Rough bracelet. This is one that was made with um, the opaque bands by RainbowLoom.com in fuchsia gray, pastel blue, and white. It is not a reversible bracelet. This is what it looks like on the back. I guess you could wear it um, reversed, but it's not really very neat, but that's what it looks like on the back. This was done on, this one was done on two looms to make a full wrap. This one was also done on two looms to make a full wrap. This was also done in opaque bands, deep purple, um, pastel pink, neon purple, and pastel teal. This was done with um, the RainbowLoom.com Ice Blue, Crystal, um, I forget the name of the other glitter band that I used, but it was also a blue glitter band. And then there was a, um, I used the, um, the Glow in the Dark Blue and the Glow in the Dark Purple bands. For this one and then this one I did um, of course which requires an extension with the neon mix bands from rainbowloom.com it did not turn out as well because the bands were not as stretchy um, so I would recommend that you use a pig bands or a band that is a little stretchier but that's what that one looks like Again, if you want a full wrap, you want to use two full looms. Um, the one that I'm doing today, I'm just going to use one loom. Um, so the colors that I'm using today are deep purple, yellow, purple, and pastel teal. They are from rainbowloom.com. You'll need at least one loom, your hook, and of course your C-clip. So to start, you're going to lay your basic border. Today I'm using deep purple for my border for my basic first border and you're just going to lay your border down hope y'all had a Merry Christmas I'm just going up the right side of my border And like I said, this one that I'm doing right now, you would need an extension. Now we're going to go back to the beginning and go up the left hand side. here so I can grab them a little bit easier again this is rainbowloom.com's deep purple opaque band that I'm using for my border purple is my favorite color it's my birthstone but it's also my favorite color so kind of have almost every shade of purple there is but I really love this deep purple such a pretty shade my hands are not working today they're very tingly because of my neuropathy my fibro is acting up today for some reason so I'm doing the best I can okay so there's your border and our next step so we're going to lay our diamond pattern going up the center of our loom. And for that, I'm going to use my, I think we'll use the rainbowloom.com yellow. 
you're going from the center peg up to peg two on the first column on the left hand side and the same on the right and then going into the center from that second peg in and you're just connecting those diamonds from the center going the whole way up you're going to want to push your bands down because there's going to be multiple layers on the outsides especially Um, when we start looping, you're going to want your bands pushed down on the, on the outside, especially. Again, just laying a diamond pattern down the center. And we're on our last diamond here. And that's what your loom should look like so far. We have our diamonds laid. Now our next step, we're going to lay some upside down V's the whole way up the center. And for that, I'm going to use um, RainbowLoom.com's regular purple. Again, you want to make sure those bands are pushed down, especially on the outside. Sorry if you're hearing any background noise. I just put my dogs out to go potty before I started filming this video. I figured I'd let them do their business while I was doing the video. Gave them plenty of time. This weather here has been crazy in South Carolina. It goes down to like the 20s at night. And then today during the day it's like 55 degrees. But tonight it's going down to 29. It's just nuts. Okay. Again, we're laying our upside down V's. Going the whole way up the middle of the balloon. Kind of just pushing my bands down as I go up with these. Okay, and we're not going to lay a V here because we already have our border bands there. This is what your loom should look like so far. Okay, now our last step is we're going to lay another border on top of the one that we already have down. And for that, I'm going to use my pastel teal. This is such a pretty color, too. Again, just a basic border. Going from left to right and then up the sides. Going up my right side first. And you'll see why I tell you when we go to loop, um, especially the V-bands in the middle, why I tell you to use a stretchier band. Um, the way that we're going to loop the middle is a little bit different um, than normal. Uh, 
Okay. Now we're going back to the beginning. And looping up our left side. Okay, and now we're ready to begin our looping process. This is what your loom should look like now that it's all laid out. Now we're going to flip our loom around and start our looping process. The first thing we're going to do is loop those diamond shaped bands that we laid. So you're going to go here to the center and you're going to dig in there and grab out your top band that's from the diamond ones that you laid and you're going to bring it down and lay it out to that side peg and then you're going to dig back in here and grab that other band and bring it down and lay it on that outside peg so you're laying those diamond shaped bands back onto themselves Starting in the center, and then you're going to go to the end here, and you're going to dig in and grab that top band, oh. try to keep your other bands on there, which mine just tried to come off. Grab that diamond shaped band and pull it back. And you have that just happen. <laughs> and you want to pull it back onto itself. that back in there because I grabbed the wrong band. I need to put them back in there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pause right here so I can fix this mess, and I'll be right back. Okay, fix that mess. Now, we're going to reach in here, grab that top band, and pull it back onto itself. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now that's going to do funky things with this top part of your border, but that's okay because the way we're going to loop that's going to be a little funny too. We're going to go down here to our next diamond, dig in. And pull that out to the side. And then we're going to go down here. And loop that back onto itself. We're going to go to our next diamond. We're going to dig in there. Carefully pull that out. And loop it down to the side. And the same on the other side. Then we're going to come down to the bottom and loop it up 
to the side. And we're going to come down to our last diamond. You're going to want to be really careful here because these end bands are going to try to pop off. And we're going to bring that down here. And we're going to bring this other band down. Whoops. And I grab that bottom border band right along with that yellow. So I'm going to put that back on. My hands just are not cooperating today. Okay. Try this again. Grab just that yellow band. Okay. And then we're going to grab the bottom ones and loop those up. And that's all of our diamond bands that we had laid. Now we're going to let loop the center purple bands, and this is where it gets a little different. So we're going to loop these purple ones forward down here. Then we're going to reach down underneath those and loop the center purple purple ones that were on this next peg not to this peg here where it's empty but stretch it up to the next one same with that next one you're looping it up not to the center one here where there's no pet no bands on it but we're looping it up to the next one where there's bands and then you're gonna dig in there And you're going to grab the next purple band that's there and bring it up to the very next one. Same with that next band. Now these next bands, again, we're going to skip this bare one and go to the next peg. And this is why I said you need a stretchier band because when I tried to use the um, the neon mix bands, I broke three bands trying to do the center section because of the stretch here. Okay, and we're going to dig down in. And then we're going to the very next peg. And then these bands we're stretching not to the bare peg but to the next one. And then the next set of bands we're going to the very next peg. And then these end ones here of course we're just stretching to the end peg here. And then all that's left is our two borders. So we're going to loop this border on top first. So just reach down in here and grab this left side border band first and then loop Actually, no, I did that wrong. Yeah, I did that right. Loop the left side border first. Had myself confused there for a minute. And then take this band right here. 
that was sitting right behind this peg and pull it over onto the right side peg. And then just loop the sides like normal. And we're going, I'm going up the right side first. It doesn't really matter which side you decide to go up first. I'm going, just happened to be going up the right side first. And you'll see at the end here, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. You'll see here at the end, the end is a little funky too. Just grab your band and loop it over as normal. And now I'm looping up the left side. My hand is starting to tingle real bad, so bear with me if I slow down. I'm sorry. That's what it should look like so far and now we want to add a cap band here just double cap band before you lay your or loop your final border and you just loop that out like you would your regular border And there's a lot of bands to go through, so I broke a couple bands doing this part too, so <laughs> when I tried to use the neon bands, because there's a lot of bands laid on these end pegs, or should say side pegs. Make sure you get through all of them. Okay, and we're going to go back to the beginning and go up the left hand side.
and that looks like the lipid process. Now we're just going to take and go through all of these bands here on the end. Make sure you get through all of them. Take one single band, bring it up through. And you can attach your C-clip. Like so. And you want to be very careful taking this off the loom because of the amount of bands that are on some of the pegs. I take it off peg by peg with my hook, the back of my hook. If you use the stiffer band, it's going to be harder to take off. When you have a good amount of bands on your loom, you don't want to just rip it off because you'll break, have a good chance of breaking the bands. And you have it off the loom. And there is the diamond in the rough bracelet. Of course, this one you'd have to add your extension to it, but if you use two full looms, it will make a full wrap. That is the front. And then there is the back. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And I hope you had a Merry Christmas. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram at LumenLooney2020. And I hope you have a great day. Until next time, bye!